Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Sign up now for a $20 free bet. Just use the code IFLTV24. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, delighted to be joined by Lewis Crocker. Lewis, I tell you what, after watching that spa yesterday and the way you trained just now, man, you seem to be a man on a mission right now in terms of your career, man. What are you, what are you hoping for for 2024 after that great win against Tyler McKenna? Oh, a massive year planned ahead, uh, starting off with the 27th here. Um, you know, dangerous opponent, um, coming off a great win over Gary Culley and stuff. So, you know, uh, get this win over me. Uh, it's, a, it's a massive year and, and big fights I'm going to be in. Let's talk about the, then Jose Felix. A tough Mexican, like you just mentioned there, beat Gary Cully in Dublin, so he's, he doesn't care where he is. Like He's not going to be phased by the Belfast crowd. He wasn't phased by the Dublin crowd with Gary Cully. He's a tough Mexican. We know that they always come to upset the Apple Cup. We've seen it with uh, uh, Josh Warrington and all the rest of them and uh, Strathon and all them guys that come over here and upset the Apple Cup. That's not going to happen in Belfast on the 27th, is it? No, absolutely not. I uh, believe I'm the better fighter. I know I'm the better fighter. And you know, it's actually funny because any time I've watched the Mexican against someone from the UK or Ireland, they've always got the upset, you know what I mean? So hopefully I can break the, the bit of bad luck we have. <laughs> the talk, let's go back to the McKenna fight. When I was watching that fight, obviously I, when you know two people and you, you're watching the fight, you, you like the two guys that are fighting. I was watching that fight going, oh, okay, but how tough is Tyrone McKenna? Because them shots that you hit him with, and I've seen you spawn, I've seen you hit the bag, you can... You, know, you can punch, you can whack, you might just be a, a 147 pounder, but for your size, you can you can hit like a heavyweight. So how tough is Tyron McKenna? Oh, very tough, you know, even like from the, from the get-go, I think I heard him like 30 seconds in, and I hit him a heavy shots throughout. And, you know, he, he was there, he, he was game, he was talking shit the whole time as well, and, you know, I was giving the back, so great. Oh, what a, what a night, by the way, you know, the atmosphere in Belfast, the atmosphere always is uh, electric, but uh, that night was very, very special, and it sort of, I think it's just uh, put me on the, the next step in my career, and... Uh, yeah, it was good to get the 10 rounds as well, do you know what I mean? So, his toughness actually worked for me as well, do you know, it showed everyone that I can keep the power from the 1st to the 10th, and my fitness was there, and, do you know, um, that's what I'm saying, when the, the lights shine brightest, the, I always show up. The better the opponent, the better Lewis Crocker? Oh, without a doubt, um, I've always said that, you know, all the best wins in my career have, have been against top opposition, so I'm looking forward to putting on another show on the 27th. I used to watch you fight at Ulster Hall, you know, maybe eight and all, seven and all, or whatever it was, and I was interviewing you, and I used to mention guys like Conor Ben and all these guys, and it's almost like now I can now I can mention them names because after that win against Tyron McKenna, you beat Jose Felix, who's a very very dangerous opponent. I mean, you're up there now. You 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 you're number one in the UK on box rec at least. If we can take what box rec with a pinch of salt, but you're up there now, and we can almost talk about these names. Does that excite you? Oh, amazing! You know, it's a. Uh the, the bigger platform, the bigger nights, and do you know it's like it's sort of like um, I think it's the first time they realised after Tyrone McKenna fight, I was like, I'm here about now. Do you know what I mean? And and the big names that you used to mention, I was like, it's it's not going to happen anytime soon. So why talk about it? But you're right. You know, uh, get this win over me, and like it's a massive, massive year uh, planned ahead, and hopefully with matchroom and stuff, being interested in, in being coming back to Belfast, especially the month after last month. So do you know if uh, we can bring back more shows and more big names to Belfast, all the better. Well, this we spoke. Uh, when you were skipping at the beginning of the session then we're just having a chat and I mentioned are you above British well not above British level but do you is British title a goal for you right now because where you are in your career now Harry scarf has got the British title he's got the Commonwealth title and I think he's got an IBF European um, so it's probably three titles that you probably want in your mantelpiece but the way your career is right now are you above that right now and is that even an option for you Harry Scarf? See like the British uh, title was always like sort of a goal of mine just but I feel like well, like Jose Felix, like a, a big name, and I feel like if I beat Jose Felix, I think there's a bigger name than Harry Scarf to be about. You know, like no disrespect to Harry Scarf, Harry Scarf's good fighter and stuff. But uh, I think uh, I've got another ranking here, uh, another ranking title and stuff, and it puts me in like top ten, top fifteen in the world. I feel like there's maybe bigger names and, and uh, more exciting fights as well. Do you know what I mean? So I'll see how the this, this fight goes, and then we'll make a plan and sit down and with, with Jamie and and Mick and stuff and we'll see what the crack is that's what I mean I, I mean no disrespect to Harry Scarf I just meant that you get, you'll get, probably have a high ranking in the governing bodies all the governing bodies whether this be a, for a WB interim or IBF interim whatever it may be you'll be up there now and so your next fight you're probably looking at one of the gatekeepers at 147 because right now you know yourself Lewis the 147 pound division other than the heavyweight division is probably the money division in terms of the talent that's on it you just need to mention Terence Crawford and Boots Ennis and Errol Spence if he's still going to hang about Connor Ben's going to hang about you just need to mention these guys and they're all big money fights so 
when it comes to being at the top of your game in the 147 pound division, you really need to be on top of your game in terms of the opponents that you're going to face to get that world title shot. Oh, for sure. You always say to each other, like, the 147 is the money division apart from the heavyweight division. And, yeah, like, just talking about it now, like, there really is some, some big money fights out there as well. So, yeah, I'm getting excited just talking about it. Uh, 2024 is going to, going to be a massive year. The best year of my career, without a doubt. Obviously, you're based out in Scotland and you're, you're, you're away from Belfast for the first time. Is this sort of like being, maybe not a blessing, I don't know what it would be, but taking yourself out of your comfort zone, out of the, your mates and your, your parents and your, your, your cousins and aunties and whatnot, and coming here all by yourself in a country that is probably a lot colder than Belfast, maybe, I don't know, but taking your, yourself out of your comfort zone, has that done wonders for you? Oh, amazing. You know, like moving here with Billy was the best decision I've made in my career so far. And, uh, you know, I think I got here like last April and we had like four fights in quick succession. And, I was out for like a year and a half and to be like back back feeling good and feeling better than ever really and I knew I always had to like relocate from Belfast just like with distractions and uh, like facilities ways and stuff so where I am like uh, in my career now like training ways like I couldn't be happier like you know Billy's brought me on loads and helped me like as a boxer and a, and a person so as I said like couldn't be more happy with, with the decision to make coming over here. Listen, I'm not going to say anything because I know how t oh, normally I would say what's your hopes for 2024 world title at the end but I know how difficult opponent Jose Felix is for you. I mean, like I said to you at the beginning, Mexican fighters or these South American fighters, they always come over here and upset the apple cut. So I'm not going to ask what the future holds for you. I'm going to ask you directly, Jose Felix, what's going to happen on the 27th of January? Oh, like, we'll talk about Mexican fighters. Like, like I'm a Mexican fighter, you know what I mean, in style ways. So it's going to be toe-to-toe -to -toe from the start. There's, there's no, no bullshit about that. Like, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come for a knockout and so is he. So we'll see who lands first. Music to my ears. Listen, I'm jumping on a plane with Billy on the side. I'm going to come to the fight. Listen, <laughs> Billy Lewis, I appreciate you speaking to you, big man. I'll see you soon. Thank you, mate. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Sign up now for a $20 free bet. Just use the code IFLTV24. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply.